I'll be honest with you. I didn't watch the Christmas NBA games. Before y'all get mad at me, I was dealing with a lot of stuff like actually chilling with family and editing videos and watching movies. So, you know, that's what you should have been doing. It was Christmas Day. Like, you could have watched games with family at that point, I'll accept it. But if you're just sitting alone by yourself on a couch watching M the NBA basketball, yes, you are. Oh, what the heck is going on with that camera? Yes, you're a really good NBA fan, but um, at the same time, you gotta chill with family, bro. It's Christmas. Anyways, um, I didn't watch the full ver the full um things of these games, but I did hear things about them, and I do I do know the outcomes. And there's also something I want to talk about that's not having to do with Christmas NBA games. So. Let's start off with the first game of the day. I'm pretty sure it's the first game of the day. Hawks versus Knicks. Kemba is back in the rotation. Uh, there were talks about him getting traded because of the way he was playing and the way the whole starting lineup was playing. The Knicks weren't doing really good, so people were saying, oh, he's going to get traded. Um, but he didn't. And came back. First game, he had like 40 now he got a triple double so he's really showing why he deserves to be on the knicks and on a good nba team he's showing that he still got some of what he had in charlotte left in him so that's actually really good kemba was low-key one of my favorite players like i didn't really like him when he was in charlotte because he would always be against the raptors and he would always destroy the raptors but at the same time i also kind of did because like the way he played he was like a he was a little guy but he could get to the basket he could lay it up he could he was a really good scorer he could score in the mid range he could score from three i just he was fun to watch so i kind of missed that kemba and i'm just happy to see him do good still and you know um so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say for that game and also the knicks always get a christmas game of course and it was nice it would have been nice to watch a Hawks versus Knicks rematch, but like I said before, I was not able to watch all the NBA games on Christmas. Trust me, next year I got you. Now, um, the next game I'm pretty sure was Celtics versus Bucks. If I'm wrong, that's just too bad because I'm gonna talk about it anyways. Celtics Bucks. This one, I'm pretty yeah. I saw the ending of this one and the bucks pulled it out man that was something that was really something because when wesley matthews hit that clutch three i was like wow i was just like wow like wesley still got some of what he had in portland left in him man and it's nice to see with all the guys out with health and safety it's nice to see the older guys come back and get opportunities to play and it's nice to see them back in the league and getting an oper getting a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice to see that. I really like to see that. Um, so, good job for Wesley Matthews. I saw him also in the Bucks versus Rockets game a few days ago. Also, that same game Jordan wore got that had that other guy leaning. That was the same game as, that Wesley Matthews like did pretty good in. And it's like. You just love to see guys who don't usually get opportunities get opportunities and like it's you could turn it's not that health and safety protocols everybody being in it is a good thing it's just like it's definitely not a good thing it's just now that you it gives other people opportunities it's like how if um for example was a good example when when Ben Simmons, now that Ben Simmons is out right now, Tyrese Maxey has the opportunity to step up and be, become, to progress, become that uh, point guard that the Sixers wanted to be, and he's looking good this year, man, so, you know, it might not be the best thing that Simmons isn't, isn't playing, but it is giving the other guys opportunities, and that's good. Now, moving on. What are other things I want to talk about? Um, the next game. 
I can't remember specifically what which one it was. It was because I think Nets versus Lakers was later in the day. Warriors versus Suns. Okay, so I was wrong. Nets versus Lakers wasn't before Warriors versus Suns. Wait, no, I was right. Yeah, so Warriors versus Suns next. Yeah, I was right. Okay, moving on. Um, Warriors versus Suns. I really don't know anything about this game, so I'm just looking at VA.com real quick. Warriors won it. Oh, wait, yes. Now I remember this game. Warriors won. Otto Porter had a really good game. At Yeah, he had a really good game. Uh, Kaminga had did get off the bench. Uh, Chris Paul had a good game. Booker didn't have the greatest game, but like... Um, oh, yeah, that probably caused him the L. But, hey... Aiden had a good game, and the Warriors won. Curry dropped 33. He recently dropped 40 a few days ago, so he's still furthering his case for the MVP. Um, or MVP case, or for the MVP race. Bars. Bars. But, yeah. Um, it's an interest. When it comes to the MB MVP race, let me, let me talk about it right now. It's an interesting race. One name I haven't before because people are saying, Oh, it should be Curry. Oh, it should be Durant. Oh, it should be Jokic. Oh, it should be Giannis. But one name that actually has hasn't had as much recognition as it should have is LeBron. He's about to be 37 years old and he's still dropping 40. Are you kidding me, bro? Not exactly 40, but he's almost 40. Like, and he's almost dropping for it. It's like he dropped 39, I think, against the Nets. Like 36 a few days ago. And the team is losing. But he's trying. He's trying to carry them to their to wins. But it's not working because the team's not good enough. And who do you blame this on? Definitely not LeBron. Like, if anybody, LeBron should be getting the most praise in this team. If, if anything, LeBron should be getting most praise in this team. He deserves no slander right now, man. And I, I know I sound like a LeBron fan, but really. Like, this man, in year 19, really think about that. Wait. Yeah, really think about that. Year 19, this man is still dominating the league. He's been an all-star every year. Since his second year in the league. This man came. He came into the league. Two years later he was the best player in the league. Considered by some of the best players in the league. And he's. It's crazy that almost 20 years later. You can still make a conversation for that. LeBron's NBA dominance. Is older than me. That's. And he still is just. LeBron is crazy, man, and it's just like, and I'm, I, I know this is kind of now going into the Lakers versus Nets game, but like, he still lost this. You saw James Harden actually doing pretty good in this game, as nice to see. Westbrook still continues to choke game after game. Um, AD is just, he's, what did AD do though, bro? Like, I'm, I might as well just talk about the other game, because I don't have much to say about the Warriors vs. Suns game. What did AD do? Do He's not even there. He's injured right now. He's injured, isn't he? Production in year 19, that's crazy. He's injured right now. When is he... Missing at least four weeks with near injury. That was a week ago. So, oh my. So, LeBron without AD, no AD, a trash Westbrook, and a bad team. Like, he has Mello. Literally, his only help he gets is from Mello. Westbrook, the only night. Westbrook has like one good night every two weeks. And then people are like, you know, Westbrook actually, he, he isn't that bad. He's not even that bad. He's. Loki doing pretty good right now. He's like still doing this. He's still one of the best players in the league. And then Westbrook goes out, chokes. LeBron tries to carry, doesn't work. 
there was one play I saw. LeBron was literally running one on five on offense. All of his teammates hadn't even passed half court. And he had to shoot it because it was one on five. He couldn't really do anything. And he missed it, of course, because he's in year 19. And it's crazy because, like, <sighs> it's just LeBron needs help. That's what I have to say. LeBron needs help. I'm a, that was kind of long, so I'm going to try and keep it short for the rest of the video. Um, so Jazz vs. Mavericks, I don't really have much to say about this. I don't even know. I think the Jazz won this one, if I remember correctly. Yep, the Jazz won by four. And it was a pretty close game, but I don't feel like it was. Luka is currently out. I don't know why, but uh, I saw Jordan Clarkson making some crazy moves, trying to get past his defender. I don't remember. I think it was Porzingis or something. That was interesting to see. But Donovan dropped 33. Conley had 22. Bogdanovich had 25. And the Jazz, they're just... The Jazz, Suns, and Warriors are two are the three beasts of the West right now. The the three best in the West. I should say beasts of the the beasts of the East. It's between Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Chicago, and Miami, and Cleveland. It's like I'm looking at the the standings right now, and the Sh the Bulls haven't played. The Bulls have played consider considerably less games than a lot of these other teams. And that's because of health and safety protocols. Because, like, all, all, a bunch of them got in, came in contact with it. But, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> the same things happened to my Raptors, which is the last thing I wanted to talk about today. Um, health and safety protocols. Whew. My Raptors, I didn't watch the game yet, but they had four of their regular players available today. Van Vliet, out. OG, out. Uh, Trent, out. Siakam, out. Birch, out. Achua, out. Um, Flynn, out. De Delano Banton, out. Uh, who else is there? I'm missing some people, but the only guys who are usually there who are available... Also, Dragic was away in a different country right now. <laughs> and some other guy had a leg injury. But the only guys who are available right now. Shvima Kailuk. Uh, shoot. Who is this? Yuta Watanabe. Chris Boucher. And one last guy who I forgot. But those are the only four they have right now Banton might have been back I can't really remember but the only four they have right now who are regulars like and then they had to play this game I haven't seen it yet but I don't know how good it looks then again the Cavs didn't have Mobley or Sexton so I don't know how good they did either it's just not looking great right now Adam Silver says he's not canceling the season. I'm guessing he said, "Oh, we just we have to get past at least through Christmas." And it all has to it all leads back to Omicron, man. Omicron is spreading fast and it's killing the league. We're well, not killing the league, but it's killing Actually, it is killing the league cuz like the league isn't able to play games cuz of that one virus, man. It's just You know what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Anyways, yeah, you really can't do anything except get vaccinated and wear a mask and social distance. Now I think about it, you could do a, a lot of things, but it's, you know, it's a virus and there's not much you can really do about it. It's, at the end of the day, it, it's, you know... And I don't know what Adam Silver is going to do. He might cancel the league. He might just keep it going. Because he doesn't want to go back to the bubble. If they make the bubble again. That wouldn't even be bad. Loki, the bubble. The bubble. The bubble was kind of entertaining. Because in a new court and everything. That was, that was kind of nice. But. 
and all the games in one place. That was also pretty nice, but I don't know, man. To be completely honest with you, I would just say, stay safe. And that's a pretty good place to end it. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, tips, tricks, or ideas you have on this channel, or topics you have me to talk about on this channel. Um, and yeah, I'm back. I'm actually uploading speed weekly recaps these days, so, you know, turn on notifications so you can be ready for that. That'll be for me today. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.